video. So in this video, I'm going to be reacting to this playback video. Um, and I think the title was you women need to stop rejecting me or else. So he threatening y'all. Cause he sure ain't talking to me. Couldn't be talking to me. Ain't nobody. I'm not about to sit here and let nobody talk to me like that. On TikTok, and this might be the sickest individual I think I've ever seen in my life. Great. Females will oh. always deserve to be. For re Females will always deserve to be. For rejecting nice guy, nice guys like me. I don't know what y'all like definition of nice guy is, but anybody who thinks that a woman deserves to in any situation be R worded is not one. Personally, my personal opinion, I could be wrong, but bro, for I ain't even going to never mind, nice bro. guys like me. What the f are we watching? <laughs> what the hell? He believes that all women who dub him. They deserve to be da 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 because he's a nice guy. He also has been on apps catfishing women. Yeah, I'm sexy. This is what. Y'all, is that. Is that. Victoria Monet. Boyfriend, hold up! Y'all go to Victoria Monet TikTok page and look at her boyfriend, her the, the child of her. They've been together for like two years, whatever. Um, that's that's him. Gains by gain, he's a physical trainer. I mean, a personal trainer. Bro, I think that's, that's him. Why it's important to go through all the pictures, ladies. Sexy. What a f that's that's him. That's him. That's him. That's him for sure. That is definitely him. That is Victoria Monet's boyfriend and uh, father of her child. Fuck is this? <laughs> right. Women catfish on dating apps too, and they do not get made fun of for it. Yes, they do. Yeah, they do. Def for sure, they de definitely do, and they don't even have to catfish. They just have to be a little thicker um, than their photos look. They they just gotta be uh, not as pretty. Maybe the makeup and uh, the filters is looking. Definitely get judged. He crazy. <laughs> he's crazy he's frightening me but when i do it i gotta get made fun of the double standards at its finest and if they double men he think it's fucked up as well because huh, i'm still a nice guy why don't you fuck with me even though i'm lying to you about my images I'm yeah i don't know what he's will get enough of rejecting me for being short especially oh, he's short too ones. and that's not a threat it's a promise what did he just say i'm sorry He's scary. Still a nice guy. Why don't you fuck with me even though I'm lying to you about my images? I'm serious. Females will get enough of rejecting me for being short, especially you black women. And that's not a threat. It's a promise. It's not funny, bro. It's just crazy. Say. And then he also thinks that he's untouchable, that this is how the world works, and he can just do and say whatever he wants to say, bro. I am untouchable, and I am bulletproof. I went viral two times before tonight, and nothing ever happened to me. And nothing will ever happen to me personally. So do with that as you will. And then on top of that, he's been doing a, just a bunch of other random crazy things on the internet. And, and by far, I think the definition of what lonely men look like in today's world, bro. So I'm getting a lot of disrespectful comments. But one thing, nobody is going to say nothing to my face. And I know that for sure. Do I cap? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm not saying to do anything like physical. To this man, if y'all, if y'all ain't gonna get me in trouble on YouTube, not gonna do it today. But all I'm gonna say, somebody just scare him, just scare him. That's it, cause this man, I mean, to be honest, you really don't have to do much when somebody is this unhappy with themselves. Like they, they, they living in la la motherfucking land, bro. They are miserable. They, he, this man held up a, a grape. It's just. It, Again, not about to get me in trouble. I've a few chicks before in dating apps, and they blocked me. No matter how nice you are, they will still reject you in a heartbeat. Why do you big Cap. females reject short men? Answer in the comments and share. Why do you females always reject the nice guys like me for them dope dealers out there? Well.
What do you females get from putting nice guys last? That's what I want to know. So not only do females put nice guys last, for some reason, they also put light-skinned men like me last. And that just can't happen. These are the type of men that fresh and fit are leaving behind. You're so fucking petty, nigga. What? Why are you making this about what? them? I uh, know. I'm just saying these are the men that they were saving, man. Yeah. And I'm so and it's it's gonna really pay honestly to see men like this honest, out and about, bro. bro, with no guidance, man. Mm -hmm. I feel so, yeah. like a man. I, I feel like a, a like. I feel like if you was like a comfortable man in your own skin, you feel me, that you was not following and running behind fresh and fit and, and the red pill community and like yeah yeah like all of that that that's not necessary for real i don't think anybody that is comfortable in their selves and and loves themselves and respects others would do that to people that preach such bullshit now you listening to something that they say and being like oh that has some validity to it you know i could take some of that you can learn from some things some things you know but anybody that's like Die hard, like everything you do, everything you say is perfect and right. Yeah, no, nah, nah. You have you, you got to be like him, and you can't tell me otherwise. Period. This right here is like by far the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, one of yeah, uh, no, yeah, he, he's, no, he's not the weirdest. He's, he's not weird. Dick, We've seen some wild up, shit, dog. He he's one of them though. As a guy, like as a man, as, as a human. You should not see something challenging or difficult and then be like, fuck this. Because that's, that's, this is a fuck this response. Because most niggas sure. get in that position and they're like, damn, okay, how can I improve myself? Obviously, I'm not what women are looking for. Sure. And I want to be desirable. So what should I do? And instead of asking good questions and following up, nigga want to do no hard work. Instead, he'd rather catfish women. <laughs> yeah, that's not crazy. That With is crazy. Victoria that's, Monet's boyfriend. It's a lack of like accountability. So if it, only... If, if only there was a podcast. If only there was a podcast that held men responsible, bro. <laughs> if there was only a podcast that really taught <laughs> they, they men petty, bro. responsibility they petty. and accountability, man. Someone like him could be saved. Someone like him could be saved, man. That was great, but saving you guys is better. Now, in all seriousness, I, I, <laughs> for one thing, yes, there is this, this epidemic of lonely, desperate men, right? And unfortunately, these men, on one end, are being taken advantage by self-help red pill podcasts. All types of people. And then also, on the, on the flip side, you can take advantage of by some women that were doing OnlyFans, da, da, da. The, these are the men... <laughs> that unfortunately are by the wayside. And unfortunately, it can't manifest into this. So a part of me feels sad, sad for him because I do think something has to be mentally wrong with you if you came to the conclusion of women deserve to be da 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 mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you, you're, to, you're lost. Um, I'm going to go on my way to catfish women. Nigga thinks he's old they, pussy? What the fuck? Yeah, he, yeah, he literally thinks he's old, old pussy. old shit, yeah. nigga. Go yeah. get it. What the Exactly. If I like somebody, let's say, if I, if I was single and I liked somebody and I approach them and they're like, no, I'm just not feeling you. Okay. What the fuck? I, what the fuck am I about to do? You know what I'm saying? What am I supposed to do? I'm not going to get angry with the whole male race and be like, you have to like me because of this, this, this. Why don't you guys like tall girls? Or why don't y'all like, like, uh... it's not that serious. All you can do is try to be the best version of yourself. Continue to be better in inside and out. Um... And your person will come. And you know what I'm saying? This ain't it. He not becoming the best version of himself. He's becoming a more ignorant version of himself. He's becoming, um, what is, what's the word? Bitter. He's becoming bitter and weird and ill. What the fuck? He gonna get it. That's what he's gonna Oh yeah, he's gonna get his sentence. <laughs> so, oh, so eventually, eventually everybody got his information. They start doxing him. He got off TikTok. They got off uh, Facebook as well and on IG. So they got him off the platform completely. But see, this is, and this right here is where it goes back to what is a, what is the solution? Because I do believe men like this need help. And I remember one time you had said, you know, you it'd be fascinating to kind of get into the mind of some of these people and stuff like that. And I really yeah. didn't know what you meant by that at the time. But now seeing this, just getting him off the internet does not, it, it helps people who are on the it internet probably to makes provide him more safe mad. spaces, but then it does not does nothing more but allow him to just go out in the world and do, really do the same thing. And just do do what the thing he's talking about. So this is like actually very concerning. So yeah, again, made these TikToks, made it a backup TikTok to put on there, then made an IG as well, start putting his stuff on there. And now he's off the internet, which is, is a good thing because I do think he needs to be addressed appropriately. But if he goes out in the real world with this type of mentality. Like Bro, somebody's going to 
to kill him. him. Walking I, around now. What? Now the other thing that really, really caught my eye is his mother. So his mother made a TikTok. Oh, so let me no. say this. I am his mother, and I've tried for years to tell him and encourage him to get therapy and help. I've told him multiple times that you have mommy issues, me, I'm the mama, so you have issues with me, and you need to go to therapy and get those things worked out, what because if you respect me, and if you love me, and don't have issues with me, then you wouldn't be attacking women for no reason at all. The only time for me, my personal belief, when a person such as him, attacks women for no reason. It's because they have issues with their mother. Cool. But here's the thing. No one deserves that. No one deserves to be talked to any kind of way. No one deserves to be mistreated, threatened, feel unsafe, or anything like that because of his issues. His issues is his issues, and he needs to work on them. There is no excuse. Mental health is very, very, a very serious, serious issue that we have going on right but he knows right from wrong so yeah. she goes on to explain it and okay again it says Hold him i've been pushing him to get therapy for years the pro again the problem is that he's like 19 20 just turned an adult like two years ago Damn. if you saw these signs and that was your responsibility to give him help along the way albeit you may not have seen the signs as he was growing up but as he got older i'm, I'm pretty sure you could have seen those signs you should have been able to push it you know forward and etc cetera, etc cetera. you know it's it's very interesting to just see people like this walking around the earth bro very interesting and again this is not a pity party for a man who says that women deserve to be da 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 and to the people out there because there are men out there who believe these things you are not owed anything in life you're just not you you may work for it you may you may earn it but to believe that you just owed it because you're a, a nice guy is ridiculous also Nick and also if let's say like i i think i'm a very good girl right i think i'm a great girlfriend um obviously not perfect i can work on some things sometimes i got a little attitude so i there's obviously things i can work on but i know i'm at the core i'm a very giving and loving and overextend myself type of person if somebody else does not want to be around me or don't doesn't want to you know i experience that then why the fuck would i care you know like if they don't want like then they don't deserve that energy they don't deserve that type of you know i, I just don't get it and even like the 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 why do y'all want drug dealers and stuff like that that is a, a, a group of people that go after that type of guy the bad some girls go after bad boys sometimes people end up with people and those people might not make the best decisions along the way and they're trying to be down for them or whatever you know not just up and leave but that's not all there are plenty of girls with nice guys there are plenty of girls with light-skinned guys there are plenty of girls with short guys you just have not run into a girl that wants to be with you. And I'm sorry, but that's just kind of facts, bro. And I'm not, you know, I don't know what mentally is wrong, but per putting that energy out, why would anyone want to be around you? Honestly, you're mi this miserable that to, to even say a, a woman, like I said, in any case deserves to be harmed sexually is crazy I, i'm sorry it's crazy i don't care if the woman was walking around naked in the fucking outside that does not mean anything that doesn't mean anything naked and shaking her ass bro if she did not consent and that's just facts this war nice guys don't have to tell people that they're nice guys <laughs> like that's just that's just how that goes if you are mm -hmm. a genuine nice person people will see that based off of your actions not off of you telling them that but believing that you deserve something based oh, off of that is just ridiculous me. bro there's plenty of people who are nice people maybe you just you ugly bro maybe you got a big forehead that's not, I'm not, I'm not, like, maybe you got no motion maybe and I'm look at me i got a big forehead too it is what it is, bruh. It is what it is. I was born like this. He was born like that. The fuck can we do? You're, all you are is nice. Maybe you fucking suck at holding confos, nigga. Maybe you're not that funny. Maybe, like, you're not a... You're not, like, you don't make her feel safe. Bro, like, you don't even know what it could be, bro. But, like, just being nice doesn't qualify you Maybe you make people pussy. uncomfortable. There's a lot of awkward ass mofos that can make you feel uncomfortable and unsafe very quickly. <laughs> like, cause you'd be like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, why are you acting like that type shit? 
It, it's a lot. Like, they, they really cover it. I'm going to stop pausing. Dog. Also, a nice nigga doesn't have those thoughts. Let's be clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, facts. You, you can't be nice like if I you said, keep saying those things in the beginning. To and and nice. a nice person doesn't need incentives to do good. They do good because that's their default. You feel Come me? Come like on. A, 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 Speak a, to a, a selfish person needs to be motivated to do something good by, like, other pressures. Like, oh, what's other people going to think? Maybe I should do the or good like thing. Or, like, some if they, it, sorry. <laughs> if something, I've heard people say they do good things because then they know that good things will happen to them. What? Who said, who the fuck said that? I have know people who do nothing but good and have like, you know, it seems like from the outside looking like, damn, like when is their karma, good karma coming back to them? Like you shouldn't do good expecting good. You should do good because that's how the fuck you feel. Like that's the, the, the that's the core of you is that you wanted to do this because it was the right thing, not because of any type of gain you could get. Things, bro. That's a good point. You nice guy niggas who only do things nice to women because you think it's going to result in you getting some pussy, you're not really nice, bro. Nope. <laughs> you're not, you're you're not really nice. Things. You're just doing things because you think that there's a reward at the end. That's not being nice. You're just being incentivized by something Excuse you me. think is going to happen. And so then it, when, it, when it doesn't happen, that means that you, your true your true colors start to show. You need help, my boy. You need help. So then, um, Excuse me. I'm know, so sorry. Sending crazy DMs to people and stuff like that. It, it, what? It disgusting. It got pretty disturbing, bro. What do you say? I'll shoot your black ass and... Whoa, wait, hold on, yeah. hold on, wait, 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 wait. What? If I keep it on the screen, is I'm, am I going to get blocked? I just, I can't read that fast, bro. All right, about to read. Bet on that. Find you something safe to do. I'll do that. To that baby, too. Find you something safe to do. Nah, you. I'll blank your black ass and blank you after well you out. And I'll blank that ugly. Yeah, I, I don't, I, I can't see. I don't know what it says. Whoa. Yeah. Can y'all read it, please? But he's a disturbing individual. He's very much I don't even think we can even show this on, you know, type shit. Yo. Nah, this Can y'all like this paraphrase? Is mental war. Yeah, he needs, mental he war. needs to tap into the mental war. But I, I think, I, and I'm not again, I justify, but I think when, what happens is again, when you just grow up and that's what you believe, you get pushed even further and further and further and deeper and deeper into the abyss. This is what it just looks like. But also, when you get presented with some very shitty news, which is nobody wants to fuck you. What you don't want is people to fuel that with anger because I was in that same position back when I was 330 pounds. Mm, yeah, bro. Twin, 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 That's twin. why I was fucking colossal, guys. And it was like, you could, I could have scrolled for days on TikTok and it was not going to be not one human being that was going to swipe on me. And then when it was, it was a bot. You feel me? Yeah. It was a tough scene to be in. I'm gonna keep it a butt, bro. And I, I know. Like, and you was broke. Nah, I had money. No, nah, this was before you. Really this is when I dropped out of uni. Oh wow. Because when I was in uni, bro. Oh, uni. that is right. When you, when you, you really uni, can't. You, you really, really can't miss in uni. <laughs> but no, but when you was in uni, you, you weren't 300. Yeah, I got to 300 after I dropped out 330, and then wow. I remember one night I, I logged on t Tinder, and I don't know, like I was just scrolling on that bitch. I'm like, damn, 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 damn. Damn, tell me how I woke up. First of all, I was like, damn, I'm, I'm going to go to sleep, wake up, shit. I mean, I'll probably get like a few matches and shit like that. <laughs> Nigga, I got no Woke matches. up on no matches. No oh, that way. That shit was probably like, nah, that's probably the app. Nigga, I downloaded his. <laughs> <laughs> Profile isn't tough enough, nigga. I'm working on my prompts and shit like that. Nigga, go take some extra pictures. Like, <laughs> yeah, nigga, make my angle now. Damn, boy. I realize I don't really take good flicks, nigga. Nobody's seen this angle of me. It ain't really this seen me, the true me type yeah. shit. Yeah. So I've been through that, and I, I know, like, if I started watching some podcasts that just made that disappointment feel with anger. I probably would have went down that route, dog. But instead, I just decided to work on me. Yeah. And it was a long-ass journey, bro. I lost a lot of weight. Not because of that. Well, that's part of it. But also because of a lot of other reasons. I couldn't run, for example. I was just tired and sluggish doing everything. Like, getting off the couch was dumb hard. But then, like, slowly and slowly, you work on yourself. And you're never done. But it does. you don't have to be, though. Like, I'm in no rush, bro. And honestly, dog, like, the one thing you learn when you have options of anything in life is that, like, having too many options, people complain about that, too. Just to let you know, bro. Ask a very beautiful woman, bro. She will be complaining about all the niggas Trying to fuck, okay? right. When you look good or when you have something like of monetary value or a lot of followers, you have to question people's intentions and you're like, damn, like, do they want me because I'm 
a great person or they want me because they want to fuck me or they want to, they want to, uh, just look at me and say, Oh damn, I got a baddie and like, just like brag about it, but really not put any energy or an effort into that relationship. Um, same thing with a guy. Like if he just has money, like you got to consider like, is that why, or women do the same thing and they're really shallow and can be with somebody just cause they look good, but really not give a fuck about them. But because they look good, they're just like, yeah, I got, yeah, I got my fine, <laughs> all of that shit, bro. For real, like, it's much more, like, it's much more of a compliment to me when somebody is like, I fuck with your energy, your vibe, your blah, 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 then you're, you're, I want to, you know, something stupid. Like, I, I, I like when people talk about my personality and stuff like that, that just makes me feel good. So, but anyways, yeah, then bro is, bro is tripping. All, all these niggas that just want money from him. Yeah. So, it don't really matter. And when, all the bitches that want to fuck him. Sometimes. Sometimes. There's some rich niggas that's, that's not I mean, flooded in pussy, though. Yeah, that's what, that, that, that's just the conversation we have here at the AMP. So. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. Yeah, that's just a combo. Anyway, yeah, the point I'm trying to make is just like, there's, <laughs> it's an incentive to improve yourself a little bit, bro. Yeah. Like, what the hell, man? You mean to tell me not one woman is interested in you? You know what it is? I think people want to feel desired really bad. And the reality is that you don't really want to be desired by everybody, bro. You because don't. it actually does this. It like, what it will do is make it challenging for you to accept the right people in your life. Because you'll have so many options on people who want something from you because you either look good. What the fuck did status, I just say? Come on, man. Like, fuck? who knows what it is, right? It could, it could even be you have a fantastic personality. Maybe you're oh. a hilarious nigga to be around. You feel me? You're a lot of fun. <laughs> well, I didn't say that. <laughs> I said I want like that out of... Okay, what, what, what's Agent When say? you go outside, so everybody wants to go out with you. But like, people always want something, bro. You can't just do nothing for everybody all the time. No one's going to want you around. Imagine being a friend that like, damn, bro, you invited that nigga. For whatever reason, they might feel that way about you. Nobody wants that. So you got to do something, right? I just feel like most people when they say that is like, you don't, you, maybe that's all you think you are. Maybe sometimes you're not even that. Maybe you just need to work on a lot of things. And also like, there's a pocket of people of women. It's not a lot. I'm not glad a majority of them kind of like all like men, bro. It's like men like women, bro. Like y'all, we like vanity shit. The niggas usually fucking like women that look good. If you got a fat ass and titties, Jeez. you can have the worst personality and niggas are still gonna be interested. And then yeah, on the opposite end, if you're a woman, nigga, you could be rich, the most hideous nigga, and 75 years old, and niggas still might be bitches still might be interested. Right. Look, at the end of the day, it's, most it's, people it's like other people for vanity reasons, but there are also people that exist, well, men and women that like people for themselves and personality mm -hmm. on everything there's a pocket of people so if you're not even appealing to those people it's because you you may be looking in the wrong place you or you fucked. might not be that guy because you're a fucked yeah. up and, individual and that's okay all and you, time. He's, you're young so it's going to take some time to build and this is this is going to all my young brothers out there bro it's going to take time for you to build that bro and, and the reality is, is and that women's just being nice is not enough to quantify you getting some pussy or you being in a relationship, or you receiving attention, because there's another, there's a lot of niggas out there who are just nice people, gen genuinely nice as well, not nice because they think there's a reward at the end of it. Unfortunately, unless you just hit the genetic pool and you're like six foot tall, or you look like just like you, you somehow have worked your way up into some form of status. But when you're 18, 19, 20, bro, you just starting life, bro, it's gonna take a while for you to really get that shit together. So, in all honesty, don't be worried about these women, Excuse bro. Me. Don't worry about them, bro. You got the rest of your life to live. Put yourself in a situation to where you can present yourself in a much better manner to women so there's other things. Okay, I'm gonna stop it here because it's about over anyways and I have something to say. I think like he was saying like, and I feel like what he was saying applies to women and men. Um, the main focus in your life shouldn't be the whatever sex you're attracted to. I mean, whatever gender you're attracted to. Um, just like, I'm, I'm about to be 25. I am not where I want to be personally. I'm really not. I, I, I feel like I have a lot of work to do, even like physically. I am not at the, like the, my body's not where I want it to be, but you, you still gotta like, you gotta love yourself for where you're at. And at the time you're at, because if you're just beating yourself up, it's when you like, when you get to that end goal, you're really not going to feel good about it. You, you, you're probably going to feel beaten up and tired. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have to learn how to appreciate yourself in all aspects of your life. And it doesn't matter if you, you are bigger or, you know, if you're a little bit socially awkward and stuff like that, you can't just be like, I wish I was different. I wish I was different because it doesn't do anything positive. Um, so yeah, I feel like you really have to learn to love yourself 
without anybody's validation because even with validation you get to, you start thinking like bro like it doesn't do anything it really doesn't change what you think of yourself it's just a bunch of people saying you're gorgeous or this and that and you don't feel it or yeah it doesn't do anything really at least for me it doesn't like if I really don't like the way I look and somebody's like oh my god you look so good or if I go on Instagram and post a picture and they're like oh uh, 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 all of these compliments I'm just like bro like, thanks like, but I don't feel it deep inside um but yeah I don't feel like people should rush trying to make themselves something they're not and and fit into beauty standards and stuff like that and even like he said he was short and I guess light skin and his forehead was big hairline was kind of crooked and stuff like that like you could do minor fixes but you don't you shouldn't be doing them to att- I don't feel like you should be doing shit to attract somebody else I feel like you should be doing shit to look your best you know what I'm saying and then the the, the other pe- people will come like that's just that shit just comes and the energy you put out is probably what you'll get back he seems like he has some other stuff going on though so it's not I don't feel like you can logically talk to people like that but um yeah, I don't know. They, but what he was saying was wild as fuck. But I, I do appreciate their takes on it. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. He he needs to. I'm glad he's off of social media. But, you know, it's not that hard to make accounts over and over again. And he's he seems bored and stuff like that. So and I, I appreciate the fact that his mom even took accountability, but then did put the because I thought she was going to get up here and defend his ass. I ain't gonna lie. Um but anyways, uh, yeah. So anyways, y'all like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. I'll see you on the next one.